Beefy Sims, and we are back with more Dang and Rumba V3 Killing Harmony, and we were in the middle of the class trial, or hopefully toward the end. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna keep going. There we go. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. H how? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick. It means the culprit knew about the seesaw, so the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Huh. Uh. Ah! Damn. I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. Helicopter with a floorboard. Damn. All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Yeah, but that's not the one that matters. It's the truth. Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Chuichi, I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house! Oh! Is it time for the closing arguments? Please, put an end to this. Poor Himiko. For Andy and Tanko's sake. End this class trial! I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Okay. Kyo, I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. <laughs> Okay. Who was the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Cut cross piece under the floor. Wait, so... That's not it, though, is it? Oh, okay. Um, hold on. So what's this? This is the what weapon knocked Angie, so... Uh, the removed floorboard? Okay. And this is... What is this? What was compressing the injury? Oh, that's the bloody... I don't think it's stuck duct tape, is it? Hold on. I guess we'll try the stuck duct tape? Oh, okay. I would have said bloody duct tape, but okay. What's this? What weapon killed Angie? That's the katana. Which I think is over... Okay, whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? I don't know if we have Kayede up here, because she's... Okay, so we don't have that yet. So this is... What is this? The handle of the spinning katana is the lock on the door. The sliding lock. Um, what's this? When Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? Um... I don't think we have that one yet. Uh, so what's this? What object did Tanko rest her head on? Um, the small... Yeah, that's it. Uh, what weapon did the culprit set up on the iron cage? Oh, that's this... Uh, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Um, what is this? This one is... Besides Kokichi was responsible for extinguishing the candles. That was me. So let's see something. Um, Suichi. Let's see, what's this one? Um, how was the culprit able to move around in the darkness during the seance? Okay, we know that that's by touch. Kokichi's lock picking. Stomp part of the floorboard. Stab Kai. Okay, that's footsteps contaminating the, the path. Maybe was that it? I thought it was. Oh yeah, no, that's right because there were there's the corners. Yes. What, when the culprit approached the cage, footsteps contaminating the scene. No, that's the other one in the beginning. Stomp hard on the floorboard? Okay. Because that's how she was killed. And then this is, how did the magic circle get erased? That is the uh, footsteps. Okay, so which ones are we missing? One back here, which, oh no, it's this one. 
So this is Angie's body was found. Oh, that's right. Kukichi's lockpicking. And then this one would have to be this is Kaede's effigy. Okay, that's right. Okay, cool. 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 This, is the truth of the case. Now, this is like the best part for me is that these ones aren't as. Let's this. look back at the first murder. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. Just happened to be in the middle room and the one, or, yeah, that she walked in. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. <laughs> la, 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 la. However, when the culprit was working on the middle room, the unexpected happened. What are you doing, Kyo? You're in a room, room in the and dark. And saw the culprit making their preparations. You're sawing the floor. That seems a little suspicious. She needed some fire for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. At that point, the culprit had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. Are you doing something to plan a murder? I think you're planning a murder. Angie might not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. Oh, well, I, maybe I do not understand. Maybe it is not a murder. You're doing something weird, though. But now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. I can't do Angie's voice anymore. Any other that. person might have just given up, but not our culprit. What are you doing? Oh, you want to show me the, the wood? That is not ow! And struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. I mean, you see a board coming at your face. I think maybe you should have ducked, but. Drip. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. They wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. Then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. And then three other people saw him, so we had to go murder them before you know what he killed everybody. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. Letter. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. No, because they took it. They took all the duct tape, but a piece of it fell. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. Carrying the supplies they needed the culprit returned to the ultimate art lab. Locked the front door from inside. I mean, you gotta admit. And took out the katana they brought from their own lab. He's a pretty motherfucking smart asshole because he was like, he, oh my god, I hit her, oh god, I hit her on the head with the board, now what do I do? Oh wait, and he planned this whole fucking thing. Like, he planned this whole fucking thing. They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. I mean, and that's the thing. He went through all of this, like, setting all this new... That's fucking brilliant for someone who just accidentally murdered someone and then was like, fuck, I gotta cover this up. Oh, let me do this. I mean, Jesus. First, brilliant. they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. And he needed to hurry. 
He missed the piece of duct tape, but he had time to fucking do all this shit. There were two reasons for this. <laughs> to overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. And the other was the key to locking the room. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. And spun the effigy around to twist up the rope. <laughs> just like making this up. <laughs> this is so funny if they're like reading those words. After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for the rear door. And lucky that that fucking worked. That's all I'm saying. Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock, locking the door. A difficult trick, but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. The culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Once complete, the door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. It's glowing. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. If they noticed it, they would have grabbed it before they left. You know what I'm saying? Like... Then, this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. Bang! But the culprit wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. The one they planned. To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. And that's the thing, he could have left it, and then they never would have figured it out. They probably never would have figured it out, because that was an accident, there was no reason for it. Of the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Tenko volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. A small stone that Himiko had brought from the courtyard. Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Next, Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over Tenko in the middle of the magic circle. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. We didn't realize it at the time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. They needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tanko. <sighs> While they were covering the cage with a cloth, they secretly placed the sickle. Finally, Four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. In complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the Cage Child song. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium. But the medium was already dead. But our culprit had another plan. 
to commit a murder in the darkness. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. They used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. It's like really in depth. Then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. I mean, especially the Angie thing. I mean, this was in depth, but like the Angie thing was like, well, that's brilliant for fucking like last second. The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw and pushed Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. She was killed right before our eyes, and we didn't even see it. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. finished the ritual and had us light the candles. We followed the culprit's directions and removed the equipment used for the seance. And discovered Tenko's body. And while we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle and dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. That evidence was the magic circle that the culprit used to navigate in the dark. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. Correct Yoshinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit behind these murders. That's where my detective work leads us. It all fits. In a perfect little <laughs> puzzle box. <laughs> they always like lose their minds when they're caught. There are times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Uh, admit? Yeah. Okay. So you finally admit you did it. Unfortunately. Yes. Yes. It's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. It's just really funny. I never would have expected the lipstick under the mask thing. But it's funny because I remember coming before, like, his eyes are really fucking pretty. Like, he looks like some fucking eyeliner and shit. I'm like, well, his eyes are pretty. And then you, like, then you see the lipstick and you're like, oh, well, look, he's beautiful underneath. Very ladylike. My one regret. My only regret. I really want to know who he's channeling. Is that, like, I just, I really want to know. Like, what, where did that other personality come from? How did he get her? Who is she? Is not being able to make 100 friends. 100 friends? It was my dream to make 100 friends. Oh, it's so unfortunate! I was so close to 100! Then why'd you kill two of them? Wh what are you talking about? I do not understand a word of this. Gives a fuck. Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already. Mm. Roger that. One vote.
voting time! Coming up! The heart racing excitement as... The heart racing excitement! Which one of those is he gonna Has kill? The blackened and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! I think he's gonna kill Monotaro. <laughs> Alright, class trial voting time. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Now then, it seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. Did I hit the wrong button? I thought I hit the right button. Oh. Look, his eyes are gorgeous. Come on. Chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? You say this after, but we already voted. This is ridiculous. Come on. I did not do good. Yeah, I'm surprised we got a B. I'm really fucking surprised. Hi, bird. Wow, seriously? You're correct again. Absolutely right. Amazing. This is the third correct verdict in a row. All right. If you manage to get 12 correct verdicts in a row, you'll proceed to the bonus round. Won't we all be dead? <laughs> How's this gonna last that long? For now. It's finally over. No. No, not yet. I haven't heard his answer yet. Kyo, why? Why did you kill Angie and Tenko? Right! Yeah, he no need to kill them both, no matter what motive he had. Oh. Motive? Hey! Did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did, though, how did the trigger a murder? Hey, hey! Don't tell me! Were you actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Ka Kaido? Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Why did he go to Kaido? I was gonna say, I thought he was gonna say Kyo, and then I was like, wait, Kaido? What was he talking about? Just shut up! I never said I was scared! <laughs> <laughs> the resurrection ritual had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. I... Because we're friends, I'll tell you. I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone over such a silly thing as that. What? So it had nothing to do with the motive. Mm -hmm. but then why? Yes. For the one that I love. There is someone that I love. Interesting. From the bottom of my heart, someone so dear, someone I long for. I oh. love her with all my heart, and she loves me with all her heart. That is, wow, hi, yes. hello. Jesus. We vowed in endless love to each other, forever bound by fate. None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love. No matter what anyone says. They got a little inappropriate there. You can almost see everything. What? Bragging about your perfect love life? Fuck you! Some of us aren't that lucky. <laughs> I know, right? So to see this lover of yours you had to escape? Don't tell me. That's why you killed Angie and Tango? But why did you need to kill both? <laughs> If you asked if I did it to escape this place, my answer would be no. Wonderful. Because I have no... Oh, God, yeah, he's that's his split personality. Okay, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, I wonder if the split personality is the person that he loves it. Because I have no need to escape this place. The one I love is inside. Inside? Wait! Don't look at me! I'm not his lover! Yeah. 
Calm down. No one would want a disgusting shit stuff bitch like you anyway. There's Flush! Whoa, 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 what the what? Hey! Keo, who is it? Who's this person you love? Hey. Is it really one of us? <laughs> <laughs> when I say inside, I do not mean inside this academy. You see. I mean inside me. Sister. Oh, dear God. Did he have a twin sister that and now she's in his body and he's like in love with her? This is fucked up shit. I just got, he gets more fucked up as we go. Yes, the one I love lives inside me. My dearest sister. Huh? S sister? Wait! Don't look at me. I'm not a sister. Right? Well, duh. If you were a sister, he would have killed himself already. Wait. Your sister? But didn't you say she was your lover? Whatever is the matter. It's not that difficult. My sister is my lover. I loved her so deeply. And she loved me so deeply. The fact that we were siblings meant nothing to us. That is some fucked up shit. They called it forbidden love. But none could stop the love we shared. That's some fucked up oh, shit. Oh, how I long for my sister's warmth. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. This is so disturbing. This is really fucking disturbing. For my beloved sister. That is why, for my beloved sister, I had to... Always messing around. Y you had to escape from here, right? No. No. I had to kill for her. Huh? What? Sister. Sister was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital, ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. However... Even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. So I thought I'd find her some friends. Friends for my dear deceased sister. Huh? Deceased? Do you understand? My sister is now a ghost, so her friend should be ghost too, right? For my beloved sister! For sister's sake, I've killed many to send her 100 friends. <laughs> they were all wonderful people, worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? What? What? Incomprehensible. This is too impossible to understand. Too impossible. Look, <laughs> he looks horrified. Sister. <laughs> Sister is very happy. <sighs> yes, Correcchio. I am very happy. Thanks to you, I am not lonely. Uh, That's why he wears what? lipstick. C could it be that the lipstick version of Keo is... I am Correcchio's older sister. Thank you for looking after my little brother. <laughs> what? What the hell? Yes. After I lost my beloved sister, I was so distraught. I nearly went mad. Nearly? Okay. But sister came to save me. I am pleased. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside me. Sister. Oh, that makes your alone time things that you do a little weirder. Not quite alone. Are you having sex with your sister when you're having sex with yourself then? I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> this is really creepy. <laughs> Now I can see her whenever I want. I'm never lonely. Correcchio. That's wonderful, Correcchio. Your love made the impossible possible. Are you serious? Uh, are you serious? Is this really a spirit? I told you. He's just delusional. <laughs> what a sad girl who can't even believe in the power of love. No. Either way, he's totally out of his mind. I mean, he killed for a dead chick. Well, you know. You said you killed a lot already, right? So it wasn't just the two you killed here. What was that? Well, what? <laughs> he seems like he was already crazy before he got here. Because? You didn't kill to escape from here. That wasn't your purpose from the get-go. <laughs> you just wanted to slaughter a bunch, huh? Unacceptable. Do not make me out to be some bloodthirsty, indiscriminate killer. I only kill girls who I think are worthy of being sister's friends. Oh, he is fucking crazy. 
That is some serial killer shit right there. I mean, obviously, because he's killed, like, a hundred fucking people to kill his goddamn... To, for his sister, but he only goes after certain girls who I think are worthy of being his sister's friend. There is a point where all of a sudden he just slide into rape and murder. I am huh? some shit here. Only girls? I see. So when we were deciding who should be the medium... Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. Uh, um... You said it would work best with a girl. I... I spent my time evaluating all the girls here. Wonderful. And besides Maki and Mew, they were all worthy. All worthy of being sisters' friends. Mm -hmm. All worthy? Why, you... Hey, how come I'm not included? I mean, not like I care. And then... And the second victim could have been me? Tanko died in place of me? Then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No, I'll do it. Oh, Angie. Oh, that was Himiko saying anyone's spirit. Okay, never mind. Excellent. I fucked that up. Whatever. Himiko would have been a great, but Tanko volunteering made me so happy. Her noble, earnest heart made her a perfect friend for sister. Wonderful. She even infiltrated the student council to protect Himiko. Huh? huh? Infiltrate? Really? But... But how did you... <laughs> it was obvious to me. I've studied many people. Uh, yes, she stood me. up against the darkness of the school all by herself. All for her beloved friend. Beautiful. I was so touched by that. Wonderful. She was a perfect friend for sister. <laughs> I can't understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Well. Though, I was planning on having you become sister's friend, too. Eventually. No way! Well, what did you do all that for? Mm. Wow! You did all that just to kill. For you to go that far, that's pretty impressive. Well, no. You were interested in the caged child. Just so you could use it to kill someone, right? Let's see. It interested me as an anthropologist, of course. But more than that... For my beloved sister! I wanted to kill for sister. I cannot deny that overpowering feeling. Are you okay? Kaido, are you okay? You look kind of pale. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Let's focus on Kyo right now. Mm. Allow me to explain, though. I did not plan to kill both of them. I knew I would have plenty of chances after escaping this place. However... But Angie walked in on me preparing, and I ended up killing her a different way. So I figured I may as well kill someone else, too. <laughs> after all, it would be a shame to just waste the seance trick I prepared. Why is that? You, you're talking like you killed her just because you could. No, not just because I could. I was sending another friend to sister. Correcchio. Correcchio. You're such a thoughtful little brother. But it was bad to get greedy. Oh, dear. You're right. Because of that, now I can't send a hundred friends to sister. <laughs> Do you understand now? Those were the circumstances of Correcchio's crime. <laughs> I, I do not understand. This is all too impossible for me to understand. He's like, you're fucking your sister? That's gross. Why? Th that right. Killing two friends... For your dead sister? But how? That wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> oh, don't get so worked up. There's something I learned after sister's death. Do not worry. Death only changes a person's form. The soul lives on as a ghost. That's right. That's right. Even though I'm a ghost now, I am always by Corkio's side. You're in his body. Sister. Thank you, sister. I love you. Yeah. Cut it out already. What was that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Nothing makes sense. This is the greatest mind fuck ever. It's not fair. Why did Angie and Tenko have to die for something so unfair? Well... Because death is unfair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm actually, I know, we're going to keep going with this, but I'm going to wrap this part up here, um, and then we'll finish, and then we'll do his death scene, because that's going to probably take a little bit. Um, a few more spiels probably and then we'll get to the um, that but anyway we'll see that in the next part so I will see you guys next time remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more <laughs>